Hey there, my friends. Today, entrepreneurs and salespeople, listen up. I'm going to tell you the five words you should never, ever say. But first, I want to tell you who I am. I'm Tracy Beavers. I'm a business and sales coach, and my passion is helping small business owners and salespeople untangle the parts of their businesses that are no longer working. We find creative solutions. We find those disconnects, and we get you going and reconnected back to growth in growth mode. I love sales. I know that sounds crazy, but I do. And when I was sales director, I grew market share 86% the first year I was director. That's how much I love it. I know you think I'm nuts, but I want my clients to love sales too. Let's talk about the five words you should never say as an entrepreneur or salesperson. Any guesses? Any guesses about what they are? I am not a salesperson. Let me repeat it. I am not a salesperson. Do you know how many people I hear say this every day? Why does this frustrate me so much? And why is this something that you should never say? Because we are all salespeople. I mean, we are. Everyone. It doesn't matter if you have sales in your title or not. Every person on this planet is a salesperson. And I would argue that my dog is a salesperson. And he's probably one of the best salespeople you'll ever meet. If you coach with me, you've heard me say this before. If you've ever convinced a toddler to wear a coat when it's 30 degrees below zero outside, you're a salesperson. If you've ever talked your friends into eating tacos because you wanted tacos when they all wanted cheeseburgers, you're a salesperson. If you've ever solved a problem for a friend, you've helped them find a great doctor, a great pair of shoes, made a great restaurant recommendation, you're a salesperson. I'm hoping that this resonates with you and some light bulbs are going off. Salespeople are problem solvers. They're givers. They share information to help others solve a pain point. They show how their recommendation for their product or their service is the perfect one for the client. And it has to truly be the perfect one because we have to stay in integrity, right? We're not trying to sell people anything that's not a good fit for them or that they don't need when there might be a better solution out there. So that's it. That's all. So let's take the stigma out of the word sales and being a salesperson. Being in sales is not a bad thing. And being a salesperson isn't either. The problem is that there have been so many people being super sleazy in their sales approach. And it's overshadowed the rest of us who are truly trying to help people find a great solution. I said I love sales. You're probably asking why. And it's because of what I just said. Because being in sales means that I'm helping other people find their best solution for their best life. And that feels amazing to me. One of my clients called me the other day and she was a little mad. She works in a health clinic. She had a new patient come in and they were discussing different treatments um, because he has daily pain and he's got some health, health issues and everything. Well, they walked through all the treatment plans and she made her recommendations and he signed up for their program. And then he said to her, you know, you're a really great salesperson. And she called me because she was offended. <laughs> she felt like she'd done something wrong. And I said to her, hold on, you need to take this as a compliment. He meant that you were his solution, that you listened to him, that you let him tell you everything that was wrong, everything that was going on. You asked him great questions. You found him a wonderful solution. You are a great salesperson, because, but it's not because you're tricking him into buying a bunch of stuff he doesn't need. It's because you truly care. You ask the client what they need. You help them find the best treatment plan. You are a great salesperson because you care so much. And she'd never thought of it that way before. And she felt a million times better. So if you shy away from the word sales or being a salesperson, it's because you've likely had some really bad experiences with some awful salespeople. I mean, I know I have. And it gets us thinking about sales all wrong. You don't have to use weird sales tactics or schemes. You don't have to be aggressive. You don't have to be sleazy. You don't have to craft a dog and pony show with a big PowerPoint sales pitch presentation. Here's what you do have to do to be successful in sales. Be yourself. Be a human being who cares and actively listens. Ask great questions. The client will tell you exactly what they need and what they're looking to purchase. Detach yourself from the outcome. Forget about the sale. If you're focused on getting the sale, you're going to have what is commonly referred to as commission breath. The client's going to smell it. <laughs> they're going to feel it in your energy and they're going to feel sold to. And nobody likes to be sold to. Everybody likes to buy. 
nobody likes to be sold to. If you tell yourself that you are their best solution and if they don't purchase, that's okay. They might purchase from you later on, or maybe they aren't your ideal client after all, but they might refer someone to you that they know that's a great fit for what you've got. And finally, I want you to be honest. You can be honest and tell people the truth. If your product or service isn't the best fit for them, stay in integrity and tell them. You have detached yourself from the sale. You're being honest. You want to help them find their best solution. And I promise you, if you don't make a sale in that moment, it will come back to you later on down the road. This is exactly how I've been successful in sales in every role I've ever had. When I was a mortgage loan officer, I had clients coming to me all the time. This was during the refinance boom of 2000. 9, 10, 11. And oh my gosh, they had heard on the news that they needed to refinance their home. Well, when I talked through what they really wanted to do, their financial goals and, and what they really wanted, it turned out sometimes refinancing the house was not their best solution. I could have done their loan and I could have earned that commission, but I also have to sleep at night. And if it's not the best solution for the client, I'm not going to do it. They needed to stay where they were. And my insurance agent, is this way too. I tried to give that guy my business for years, but he would always tell me, you're in the right coverage for you right now. I cannot better your position. Stay where you are. And I'll tell you what that did for me. I send everybody to him. Now I finally have my insurance with him because my position, he could better it now, um, several years later. But I'm telling you, I tell everybody to go to him because he's so honest and he operates in integrity. So now, are you feeling better about the word sales and saying you are a salesperson? Stay in integrity. Be honest. Put the client's needs before your own, before your own bank account. <laughs> Don't have commission breath. Detach yourself from the outcome. When someone says you're a great salesperson, say thank you. Take it as a compliment and a sign that you truly are a problem solver and you're helping other people. I hope these tips have helped you. And as always, I want to know what you think. I want to know what you'd like to learn more about or hear more of. If you'll comment or like below and tell me, I would love it. If you want more content from me, click the subscribe button, which I think is somewhere down here. And click on the subscribe button so you don't miss a weekly session. And also check out my blog, tracybeavers.com forward slash blog. Lots of great content there. You're more than welcome to join my Facebook group. It is for entrepreneurs and salespeople just like you. It's a co collaborative, supportive community where we all come together to help each other because being a business owner can be really hard sometimes. The name of the Facebook group is called Be a Confident Entrepreneur, Gain Confidence and Grow Your Income. There should be a link in the description on this video. I will see you soon, my friends. Take care and be proud about being in sales.